Hello guys and welcome back to the Isle of Wight. I hope you're all well, keeping yourself safe. Well, we are here as a 10k subscriber channel. Something that I have been working towards for some time. It really has been a great achievement. Thank you all very, very much for your kind comments and just being here to help support and help me get to achieving my goal, which at the start of this whole journey was always to try and hit that magical 10k number in subscribers and we have done it so that is fantastic but what did we work on last week well last week we spent a lot of time on this industrial estate lots and lots going on in this i really enjoyed working on this project because there was a lot of things to bring together we had the shops we had the industrial warehouses all in all a fantastic combination i felt and you guys also commented in the same respect so thank you as always for your amazing comments and feedback on the episode itself as always i love to hear from you so please do keep them coming in particular i have been spending a lot of time lately trying to get the best layout in terms of videos to make them more appealing to you guys i know the time lapses are sometimes probably deemed as a bit of a, a painful watch for some respects so, I mean, throwing in these little cinematic spells and, uh, you know, having a little chat over the top of it, I hope has made the video a little bit better for all of you. And um, some great comments there from George. It's really nice to hear that the plan has been working. So anything else you guys think we should add into these videos to make them better, make them more interesting, do let me know in the comment section below because I am always open to hear your thoughts. One thing I did say I wanted to look into was a special 10k video. A few of you have commented a few ideas. I particularly do enjoy Derek's idea of a dog video, so let me know your thoughts on, on that. Not sure what we could do, but we could certainly look at that. Um, and also releasing a merch store. A lot of you want to see the pug mugs. And I do like the idea of that, actually. The, the, the actual wording and sound of a mug pug or pug mug certainly does sound good so i'm going to try and work on some of that at some point over the next month or so try and get a few sort of ideas together for some merch and you guys if you want to can obviously help out the channel and uh, go ahead and order something but that's going to be in a month or so you'll see some sort of results um I'll, I'll let you know how things go on that front but back into today's episode so we have this big bit of space here right next to the industrial area just by the side of the uh, the housing estate and trying to think what we could put there and it kind of almost shouts out for some sort of a large school or secondary school something along those lines so that is what we're going to work on today we're going to build a really nice modern-esque sort of uh, school here so it'll be classed as a high school if you're from America but it'll be a, a secondary school here if you're from the UK um, so yeah, we're going to try and combine a couple of buildings together, make use of this big, big open space. I want to have a nice big field, maybe some sports um, sort of facilities as well around it. And yeah, just get this down because I think this whole area is certainly missing a school. Not only just because of the vision of not having a school in a big built up area, but also it means we're going to hopefully get a better education, which as a result should hopefully then bring in the games mechanics and make it work a bit better in terms of having higher educated people going to work in the locations which as a result as we know should make the whole area a lot more busier and yeah active I guess. So this is actually the first time I've done a proper school build so I did take some inspiration from the island itself and also my own understanding of what school layouts are like and uh just trying to piece it all together these two buildings in particular i think work really really well now the main front building may be a little bit european maybe a bit more american based perhaps but um i think it works i think you can make any building work well in its surroundings as long as it's not too over the top in terms of it's clearly not from this country we couldn't put a japanese school here and make that work in my opinion um so yeah the buildings itself, quite easy to put down. This is all gonna be about, I guess, detailing in that respect because it's quite easy to make a school. There's a lot of really good school assets on the workshop that you can pretty much just drop in 
add some film, uh, some fields around it, um, and it's pretty much done there and then. So I'm really trying to make it feel realistic, not only in the detail, but the layout and what's around it and the location and placement of certain buildings. So that's the plan here. And you do tend to find that schools do share a field or something with perhaps a, a football club, a rugby club or something like that. So I wanted to give that impression here. So when the school's closed, maybe in the evenings or particularly the weekends, people come here, teams come here to train and play their matches, etc. So with that in mind, I wanted to create a number of different car parks to allow that to be sort of functional, like the um, the foot pitches on this right hand side make more sense to have a car park of their own as well as the the school sort of front gate area which is where the teachers would park and maybe the uh the sixth form students will park who can now drive their way into school and um yeah just making it feel a bit more realistic um and i wanted to close the whole area in you will typically see this in schools you won't have um just an open gate area or no gates at all obviously there will be some sort of um separation between the road and what's going on etc so i wanted to make sure that we got that down and made that look neat and tidy too you may have also noticed that we've not had any submissions as of late for the farmhouse series now that's not true in the fact that we do have four or five i think ready to be deployed on the island it's just taken a little bit of time to get those down and because I pre-recorded a lot of these episodes you've been seeing over the last couple of months um, I got to a point where I couldn't get them down on the island quick enough to then record the cinematic so we are lagging a little bit behind on that front but I'm also trying to think of a way to get other people involved um, the farmhouses are great really love them and they're easy to deploy like we spoke about but I know a lot of you probably have a better idea of building other things on the island um, and I don't want to limit that just to farmhouses now I want to try and to open it up to you guys to be building other aspects so I'm looking to almost rebrand this concept um, and making it a sort of a, a, a viewer deployment um, sort of thing uh, obviously we need to be realistic we can't have people designing huge builds that don't work and won't fit on the island so I'm thinking of doing them almost like a little competition stroke challenge um, idea here where I'm gonna basically have the map for you to play on um, but nothing else so you'll have no lag no issues in that respect and I'm gonna just almost like separate segments on the island and give ideas of what can be built there um, and then we can obviously then bring more builds into the series and that's kind of what I'm hoping to achieve so if you like the idea please do let me know in the comment section below because we have actually had a few other things um, issue to me recently um, a few hotels for example that I want to put down and I think that would work quite nicely in this idea So back into the build, this is pretty much the detailing side of the whole build now. We've got the main core down, we've got the schools down, we've got, well, two schools, and I'm kind of seeing one as a, a bigger area in terms of holding um, maybe the dinner hall, etc. with a lot more classrooms around it. So I like the idea of having two buildings here rather than just a small one. It kind of makes more sense for a secondary school. And also we've got the little gym next door to the football pitches as well which again just just makes sense to me um, and yeah I, I like the idea of having this little roundabout in the corner here um, we do eventually get the uh, bus route to go through that so we've got one bus route down <laughs> it's not a proper one in terms of um, following the same bus routes on the island but it's a start um, and even back then I had the idea of um, putting more bus routes down so we will at one point go back into 
um, a video just working out some of the transportation, um, the traffic issues and, and all that sort of stuff. So that'll be quite an exciting future video to see what we can do to make the game work and just feel a lot better, a lot more smoother that way. Now one question that I did also get asked quite a lot recently, um, certainly now we've reached the 10k um, milestone, is um, a lot of people were suggesting maybe look at doing a new series now. Um, now I'm not against that, no way at all am I against starting a new series. I just have an idea in my head at the moment that I need to just let fizzle away and see if we can achieve what I'm sort of visualising. Um, I want to do something a little bit different. Um, but I'm yeah I'm still open to ideas guys so if you've got a really cool idea on what you want to see built or you know something to be done within City Skylines do let me know in the comment section below because as I said I'm open to ideas and perhaps something you suggest may be able to be influenced into my idea and it could eventually then turn into an actual series so certainly something I want to look into um, I've been working on some guest builds myself personally recently so they will be um, coming out at some point on other channels, so we'll let you know when that happens. Top secret at the moment, of course. Um, but one in particular I've spent a lot of time on and I'm really, really excited to see that being produced as a video in their particular series. So yeah, lots of exciting stuff to happen. Um, I must say I am running out of time at the moment. I've only got one episode pre-recorded now, uh, which is coming up next, next week. It is probably one of my favorite episodes though, so don't be alarmed by that comment. <laughs> um, I am gonna try and work on some more builds to um, keep the weekly videos going, but there could be a lapse. Um, I'm gonna try my best not to allow that to happen, but just uh, throwing it out there, we'll, um, yeah, we'll try our best to keep on track um, and see how things are going. But as you can see guys, the video is pretty much done now. We've just added down this little bike bike shack here or bike rack what you want to class it as um, we also add in some invisible paths as well to make use of the people walking around it's always I feel a lot more appealing and realistic when you have people walking across especially when this big area here is a big lot of land where people will be crossing over going to different buildings going from classroom to classroom um, so I thought that made sense to have that in place there um, but yeah, I think all in all, the episode itself worked out nicely. It's good to do these more miniature detail builds, I find. I really do enjoy doing this because sometimes when you're working in a bigger area, it's quite hard to really get your head into it, I find. I prefer working on the very specific builds such as this one. So yeah, hopefully that's come across well and you enjoyed this type of different video for today. As always guys, if you did enjoy the video, please do feel free to hit that subscribe button to not miss the next episode. And if you did enjoy it, please show your appreciation and let me know you enjoyed it by hitting that like button. Other than that guys, thank you all very much for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching and all the best.